Welcome back to the number one podcast in the world. We're your hosts, Chase Tamar. And Gabrielle Moses. And today we're, in, we're joined with the infamous, the, the Mr. Bully Everybody on Squid Games, uh, my, my uh, nonchalant little brother, Brighton. Brighton, why don't you go ahead and tell the people who you are? Uh, I'm Brighton Constantine, player 432 from Squid Game. I was just looking into the wrong fucking camera. Uh, let's restart that. Uh, I'm Brighton Constantine, player 432 from Squid Game The Challenge. Uh, I used to play football from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, small town kid, uh, big time dreams. Uh, let's start with the football background because you and I, we come from that similar background. So you're from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, didn't play at LSU, but played at Clemson, South Carolina. How does that happen? Uh, truthfully, it's just like, I mean, you know, the recruiting process, you know, it, like you start to travel, you start to see how beautiful other places are. Louisiana is a it's a shithole. You said I don't want to stay there. I got jumped by uh, Nate Diaz in Louisiana. <laughs> I'm fully that, was, that was in Louisiana? Yeah. New Orleans. Bruh. New Orleans. Yeah. yeah it's crazy. Um, but there's nothing there. You know, I, I liked growing up there. I liked playing football. My family's there. I can be content and live in Louisiana or I can kind of push my limits and take a risk and go somewhere else. So they just came off a national championship after 2019. Did was, you think you were going to go to LSU for like the longest time growing up? Fuck no. Never in your mind. No. Growing up down in Baton Rouge, banjos <laughs> and all, you are never like, hey, I'm going to play at LSU? I mean, in elementary school, but once mm -hmm. like yeah. eighth grade high school started to hit, I was like. Cause yeah, I, Joe Burrow. Yeah, I went to high school on LSU's campus, though. Oh. It was, it's a prep school and it's on LSU's campus, so I got to see like the college life. Oh, so it was age. like nothing special. I was like, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, you're like the yeah, same for me. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, so how was your time over at Clemson? Uh, <laughs> my experience was a lot different. So it was it was not that good. Clemson's a great school. It's a great football program. Fans are great. The state is beautiful. Like oh, that was the first time I saw lakes with clear water. Yeah, I've, I see brown, what, brown water. Brown water. Yeah, like, you can't even. You can't. You put your foot in the water. Your foot's fucking gone. You can't see it anymore. <laughs> oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, no, it's bad. Go so, on down uh, to Baton Rouge. <laughs> it's bad. And then uh, the atmosphere was good. The coaches were good. They all loved you. It was a good family atmosphere. But I didn't get to play because I had four knee surgeries. Oh, so God. it was just like four. Yeah. How? Three ACL, and then I got my meniscus took out. How, same knee or different? All same knee. How does that happen? What did you do? God, Playing football? God, man, I guess I got clear. Wait, what's your position? You're football. running back. No, fuck no. No, outside. Oh, okay. I play outside linebacker. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. damn, man, you're getting hurt like that on defense? But I didn't get hurt. Actually, I, I got a tour at first time, yeah. senior year, playing basketball on senior night. Oh. I was already committed to Clemson, like, yeah. Ready to rock and roll. I was the number one linebacker going there. Yeah. And then tore my ACL. They still wanted me. I just went there, redshirted, recovered, tore it again, first day back at practice. Okay. Practice? You yeah. First. first day back. And there was nothing, like, I got cleared. It was 100% ready to go. There was nothing I could do about it. It was just, I shed a block and I stepped through and I just stepped at the wrong angle. There was literally nothing I could do about it. Oh, my yeah. God. That's rough. And, and so then I tore it again after that. So the transition from going to playing football, you're like, okay, like I'm getting hurt, I'm doing this a lot, to getting put on Squid Games, and now you're a superstar reality TV. You were on the first ever Squid Games, which was amazing, by the way. Like mm -hmm. your character, I was in, I was entertained from start to finish. So <laughs> props to you. Uh, but what was that? What was the process of that? Uh, it was hard because I w I had a girlfriend in college, and so I mean, you know that process of trying to go do things with your life but like you have yeah. something an anchor of, something, <laughs> something hindering you yeah um so i stopped playing ball i got into social media blah 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 that's when all those funny ass jokes they were like oh he looks like yeah. his brother i was like shut the fuck up <laughs> you're like i don't want to be compared okay, to that was, yeah <laughs> um but then squid game ended up reaching out. i turned down a few shows before that yeah. because i wasn't old enough i was just young i was like i don't want to leave school mm -hmm. whatever and then my senior year hit I was like, next opportunity I get, I'm not turning to have to do it. Yeah. yeah. So, so I ended up, uh, what? So how did they like reach out to you? I saw an ad online and I was like, I need to be doing TV. No I was like, I do social media. I just need to be doing TV. Uh -huh. um, so I knew a few shows reached out before. So I knew I had like the, uh, the opportunity to do it. I knew I could do it. And then I finally, finally filled out an application and mm -hmm. everything went smoothly up to that. So it was just an application that you filled out. You didn't do this video submission? I ended up having to do okay. all that shit, but yeah. yeah. That one's never fun. You got to turn the phone side. Nah, I'm, I'm Brighton, and this is why I think I'll be good on your show. I'm in my college dorm, bro. 
small ass room like yeah. up against the wall just recording my video and now we're here you know i think it's living proof that i feel like with netflix essentially like they recycle it's it's kind of like when you watch like a sitcom back in the day and it's just like they swap out the character for somebody else i feel like netflix is notorious for finding it's people similar, that are yeah. so, so like where are the odds you find somebody that we look so similar and we both play football yeah. <laughs> you know i just feel like they they do this like thing where it's like they have a certain look that they go for a certain type of uh, it's a certain look background yeah. background i mean even with the girls too it's the same the exact same it's the exact same they but have it, a formula but it works yeah. so like if, it, if it's not broke don't fix it and That's so true. how long was the process for you because like uh for me too out the handle it was like a whole it felt like it was like a whole year process before we started filming was it somewhere with squid games uh so i got i ended up doing the application in july and then i dropped out of school in december and filmed in january so seven however many months that is what is that oh july wow. seven, august september yeah. october november december january so six, six months yeah. okay so six months of it cast. felt like forever though and it's like they do something like with you like once a month like you'll do something in an interview and then you won't hear from them for like two three weeks and then all of a sudden yeah. they're like hey can you pop on a zoom call for an hour i tomorrow? thought i was the only i, I, I thought i was the only one <laughs> I thought I was uh, welcome to welcome yeah. to Netflix, bro. <laughs> Dude, they they reached out and I thought everything was going so well. And then one day I'm I call my mom. I'm like, hey, because um, my whole plan is I'm getting the role. I'm leaving school. I'm uh -huh. going to make a name for myself. Like right. whatever. Good plan. Great plan. I thought. <laughs> um, but one day rolls around in like October, and I'm like, mom, I haven't I haven't fucking heard from him. I was like, I'm gonna have to stay in school. Like, were you that guy that was You're texting like, like, hey, any update? <laughs> Oh, sorry, we haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> be proactive. Fuck everything else. Be proactive. Be Don't be scared to reach out. They love that. Like, yeah. if you want to get into a TV show or a movie, you have to... Like, be, don't be scared to ask, you know? Like, they like people who are interested in what's going on. Like, show you want to be there. Yeah, show you want to be there, and then... Once you get there, if you don't want to be there, you know, what I mean? <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> you're kind of already, you're, you're already there. You got your foot in the door. So. Yeah. But, uh, but now the process was good. It went, it went pretty smooth. So walk us through like that moment where they call you up and they're like, Hey, Brighton, we're going to pick you to pack your bags. Yeah. What was that moment? <laughs> What's crazy enough is that I have it on film and I can't fucking find the SD card for it. You have no. it on. How do you yes. have that on you film? That. Like my friend, I swear to God, I was, I was coming back from the gym with, my friend, we were filming a workout video at the time. I was just trying to pump out fitness content. Real good. Yeah. And uh, we get back and he has the camera in the car and I'm getting a call from LA. I was like, dude, I was like, start recording just in case. <laughs> well, watch it be the biggest heartbreak of his life. <laughs> oh, no, nah, that happened way before that. And I was, <laughs> yeah. um, but no, nah, I was like, dude, hurry up and record. Mm -hmm. And he started recording and, and it, you can't it, it was it. the phone call. I can't fucking find it. But it was a good feeling. It, it, it let a, a lot of weight off my shoulders. Yeah. I knew I knew I was leaving school. The... What did your parents say whenever you were like, I'm going to leave school? Like, this is it for me. Like, I'm going to try and do TV. Yeah. My mom always knew that I was going to do TV. She wants me to do TV. She knows really? that. Yeah. From a from a high school age, she always mm -hmm. told me. She was like, if, if, if football doesn't work out, I know you're going to do TV. That's good. And um, so she was in support. She told me, she was like, you can drop out mm -hmm. of school. Um, I'll support you for a year. You know, she'll help me out for a year. Clearly, mm -hmm. I didn't have a job in college. Like, I was sports yeah. or so, whatever. Um, so she helped me for a year, and then I ended up kind of being okay. Because mm -hmm. that was from, in, that was in November, and then Squid Game came out in November. So it was, like, perfect timing. Oh, that is perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah. And so well, whilst, whilst doing this, okay, so they call you up. They're like, hey, we're going to pick you on the show. How much time did you have in between before having to bounce and go? Um, the show wasn't filmed until like the second week of January, mm. I left school the first week of December and went home for a month. I left all my shit in college. Like my clothes, everything was still up there. I just flew home. Wow. Did yeah. you ever go back and get your stuff? Yeah, yeah. I went, I went and filmed the show actually and then <laughs> went back and got my stuff in like March. So your roommate was like, oh, hi, good to yeah, see I you had, again. I had three roommates. And nothing in my room was touched. Nothing was stolen. I was really. Like, yeah. Those are some good roommates. Yeah. So you so okay. So now I know the show is from in England. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so is this your first time leaving the country? 
Besides Mexico, okay, yeah, Mexico. We're not, we're not, we're not no, the Island of San Sam Padre no. Islands drinking tequila no, shots. No, no, I played. I had a, I had a football game down there, the World Bowl down oh. in Mexico. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. With that, but but that was it. That was it. Okay. So first, re- like real time, seeing some shit that I was like, yeah, this is crazy. opposite side like, of the road. Crazy. Yeah, the food kind of sucks a little bit. Yeah, the food a lot, a lot of it. A lot. That food was the worst fucking food okay, I've I ever heard, had in my life. I heard that they didn't feed you though while you're filming. Well, we'll get into that. Hold on. Before we get into that, we're, we're going to get to that. I get too excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where we're going with that. But, like, going into it, so now you're in another country. The food sucks. You don't know anybody. They're driving on the wrong side of the road. And now you walk to well, Studio Lambert, I think, who puts on the show. Yeah. You walk to a big warehouse, and you already have, like, a general idea of how Squid Game's is gonna go is that exactly how it went because i heard a couple different things that sometimes like with red light green light that actually took way longer to do that than any other game there uh yeah so we were in a hotel for three days oh that's not too bad getting just getting like isolation yeah. making sure nobody had covid right and so you're in there losing your mind because you had to turn in your phone Oh, and they took your phone. They took your phone before you even started filming. Oh, okay. Perfect. And I was like, fuck. Some <laughs> people snuck their phones yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I didn't no, see. They, I think they didn't take it until I think the day before, actually. But oh, we yeah. had it for like the first two days in the hotel. And then they, they, then they came and took it. Um, and then they were like, we're leaving at early in the morning tomorrow. I think we left at like 4.30 in the morning. It's fucking dark on the street. <laughs> people are just waking up for work and we're going film red light, green light. Mm. Um, in a blimp warehouse, it's like where they build blimps. Or it might have been a blimp hangar. Mm. But if you've ever seen a blimp in person, you know how fucking massive they yeah. really are. And it was the biggest building I've ever walked into. And it was also below freezing. No, And no. we filmed oh. for like seven hours. Oh my, God. oh my gosh. So what was the first day of filming what you guys do? That's what it was, red light, green light. Okay. For how now, many that hours? Was for the, we only filmed red light, green light. And then we went to the bunks. Let me say that much. So we started, we left the hotel like 4.30, 4 in the morning. And then we got to the bunks at probably 8 o'clock that night. Okay. So realistically, how, because we played red light, green light yeah. uh, for the Squid Games, just the one they set up here. Uh, realistically, how oh, you got eliminated? Oh yeah, sure. it was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you she didn't understand the quick. concept of when the light turns red. I get too excited. She I tried to sprint across the whole thing, oh, and I was like, "What was the point of that?" Oops. <laughs> and then she was all mad because she got out, and I was like, <laughs> "I was about to cross the line." It's hard. It is yeah. hard. It, it really was. Uh, it was probably like seventy yards away, the doll, and it was a real 15, 20 foot doll that they had in there. Oh uh, right. yeah. Uh-huh. How quick was the? Like, how hard was it realistically? 456 people started. Mm-hmm. 228 people remained after the first challenge. Who is that difficult? Well, or maybe maybe between, less than that, actually. In between clips, do you have to stay like, yeah, still? Yeah, you couldn't move. For Even when seven eight, hours? Like, bruh. Somebody squatted, didn't they? Uh, Yeah, she was right behind me, and I was like, oh. <laughs> she had to hold the squat. Yeah, like she's, and it wasn't for everybody was like, why can't she hold a squat for 30 seconds or whatever? Dude, you're sitting there for like 15 minutes. Yeah. It was, oh, yeah. So how, how did they, what's the word? How would they find, uh, like, who moved? Yeah, did so, they have motion detectors or something on you? Okay, if we wore a packet. You know, that's how it exploded. Yeah. Um, and then, so if, if I'm at the starting point right now, 70 yards that way is the doll. Mm-hmm. And then above the doll, they have like people that are just sitting up there with fucking binoculars. <laughs> so it wasn't high tech at all. It and wasn't. I can see them, and then with, with, they have the cameras in the walls yeah. to our sides, and um, but they have people watching. <laughs> but the people that I could see had the fucking binoculars, and I almost started laughing the first time I saw them, and I was like, <clears throat> and I almost, almost got out. But I think that's how they did it, and I, they also had plenty of cameras. And shit yeah. There. But the binoculars were. Just to make sure everything's going okay. Do they give you that like safety breather? Because I know I've done challenge shows before. They give you like a safety breather. Like you can't interfere with anybody else's. Like I couldn't just like hide behind somebody yeah, and be like, yeah, yeah. I'm like for 450 million, I'm doing a lot. Uh, yeah. Four million, I'm doing a lot to yeah, win that. Yeah. No, I, I even was thinking, I was like, if I get behind somebody, <laughs> if I trip Tyler, them, I, can tri- I can trip them right before she stopped singing so that he would fall whenever you're supposed to be still. Mm. Yeah. But they were like, you'll get eliminated. And I was like, ah, never mind. They gave you the whole safety yeah. brief for that. And yeah, they gave us everything. Oh, okay. Have you done the pop up here in LA? Yeah, I went to the first one they did. So the red light green that they had over there, 
uh, when it flips its head, uh -huh. is it that fast? Like, is this a room? Is it, is yeah. It's so we got to move for probably, I think we counted like three and a half, four seconds. Mm -hmm. And then whenever she stopped, you had to stay still for 15 minutes. And it was that quick. Like, so you had to time it up. A li like you had to stop a little before she stopped because if mm -hmm. you didn't, you were you were out. You're so right. what was the strategy? Lay down. That's what I would have did. If then you would have got out. <laughs> so did you just stand up? Straight? Everybody, no, everybody who laid down got out. They thought that shit was so smart, but you can't move fast. You enough. can't, and not only that, you can't lay down fast enough. Uh, it takes a full second to lay yeah. down. Well, I'm thinking like military crawl your way across. Seventy yards, bro. Yeah, that's true. Like it, 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 we've done that. Yeah, no, before. we've Come done on. it. We, yeah, no, we've done it, but you don't want to do it again, especially in there. It's like 25 degrees. It's oh, it's freezing cold. I couldn't do it. I couldn't feel my toes. Oh, no. Yeah. But it's part of the challenge. If you're in there to win $4.5 million, it's not going to be. Were you yeah. worried at all? It was like the heart pumping, like. You know how your heart pumps before a game? Yeah. And then you get the first hit and you're like, oh, I'm good. I'm Let's good. go. Yeah. So. It wasn't like that at all, yeah. actually. It waited to... It's the opposite. <laughs> it's the fucking opposite. Before, you're like, this shit is so easy. I'm not worried at all. Then you start to see people get out. <laughs> like, you hear the pop. Mind. And I have to stay still for 15 minutes. Yeah. And I, I got caught. Squid Game, anybody watching this right now, it's the first time I'm ever telling anybody. Exclusive. This is this re actually is really exclusive. I tell a lot of people, like, in person. Yeah. Because um, some people are probably going to get mad. But, uh, I mean, it's over now. I don't care. <laughs> So our track suits were pretty big, like they were baggy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you saw the girl that got caught in a squat. Yeah. There's no surviving that whatsoever. And I was shuffling like sideways. That was my strategy because it's easier to come to a stop like that. And then I was shuffling, but I was squat. I squat down on accident a little bit. And I got caught kind of like in a 75%, just like a, or like a 25% squat down a little bit. My knees were bent. Mm -hmm. and I was like, fuck dude, there's no way I'm going to be able to stay in this position for 10, 15 minutes. What's up? Dude, my knees start shaking. My hands are sweating. I'm dripping sweat, and it's 30 degrees. I'm looking at the ground. And this is whenever I knew about the binocular people up there. Uh -huh. I was like, all right, my clothes are big as fuck, so you can't see me move if I do it gradually over a period of time. Uh -huh. So I started to bend my knees and come up. I started the round like this, and I ended the round like standing. Straight up, and nobody noticed. Well, nobody that's, said that. That's the smart nobody thing. Nobody noticed. Cause I said when we did the pop up, they remember I was like, it's not so much about beating the challenges, it's like outsmarting it. Yeah, it, it's not about trying to hurry up and cross the line. Cause I knew I didn't want to finish first. I was like, yeah. stupid, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's the that was my biggest secret. I told people on the show, and they were like, bro, I tried to do it too, but I just kept getting so scared. <laughs> I'll just do <laughs> it. How, how long did they give you to get across though? Was it like five minutes? No, that that's what it said on there. I think our timer had, uh, or it might have been. It was five minutes, but the clock only ran when it was while gone while you were moving. Yeah. So it was a long ass time. Yeah, you were in there for a really, really long time. Took that seventy sounds yards. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, and half the people got out, or two hundred people got out. Yeah, uh, seventy yards is a long way. It's like almost a whole football field. Yeah, I know. Oh. But I'm saying, like, half two hundred people got out. Oh yeah, no, a lot, a lot of people got out. <laughs> were people, people crying at that wall. point? Like that, getting, were that like at that point, were people crying whenever they got out? Because oh, yeah. I know a lot of people were like really emotional. Really emotional. Yeah. Really. Nobody was more. <laughs> nobody was more emotional than me watching this show. We were in New York City. And I was yeah. watching this show in my hotel room, and I still remember. Remember when he got eliminated? I was. You're I'm like, turning no. this off. <laughs> I'm turning this off. Why did he get my hands out? Nah, it was. Uh, people. People were emotional. People yeah. wanted to. They started lying, saying that, "Yo, it's a scam. They cheated. They knew who they wanted to advance to the next round." No, you're just not fucking athletic. You're like, just not that good. Just, and I get it. Some people just aren't built for conditions like that and it's no disrespect to them you know they're better than me at other things but yeah right um yeah a lot of people started to get mad because they thought it was rigged yeah mm -hmm. you just got eliminated okay and you then you just didn't win buddy just did, like i didn't win i didn't wait even how far closer. did you how far did you make it like halfway okay the third i got eliminated on the third challenge okay. and i think there was like six or seven so it was the red light green light and then after that it was the dalgona Cookie. Okay. Well, before you go to the Dalgona, now you can ask your question because you went to the dorms and then what happens in the dorms? Yeah. Did you, I heard the lights didn't go off. The food wasn't good. The, okay. The lights went off because we got to sleep. Every, they turned off the lights every night for us. Now they would wait. Yeah. It would probably be past my fucking bedtime until they turned it off. 
Uh, food was terrible. It was the worst food I've ever ate in my life. What was it? It was like you're in jail. Yeah. I've it's never like been porridge. to jail. I've never, yeah, we had porridge for breakfast. And I almost threw up every day. Oh. Ew. This one wasn't giving you beans and toast. We had rice and eggs. Uh, <laughs> you were like, it wasn't that much. You milk. had a carbon and a protein. Yellow, ri- yellow rice, no salt, no nothing, and a, a boiled egg. Oh. Really? Did you get any protein? Like Bad. chicken? We had some meatballs every now and then with some onions and peppers. So how many days passed between you guys starting to film and you guys are eating this terrible food? Well, I hope the same day they're eating cab. Oh, no, well, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, duh. We, but... ate, we ate three times a day, but we, it was probably only like, 1,100, 1,200 calories, if that. And People that's, a, that's a stretch. I lost 12 pounds. Oh. Uh-huh. How many weeks of that? You want to cut? Any of the girls out there, you know, all y'all do is complain and all that shit. If you want to cut, go do Squid Game Challenge. Eat some eggs. Well, I'll, some give, I'll give you guys a secret on reality TV. When they ask you if you have diet restrictions, literally name all the stuff that you would never eat, such as that, and they have to give you what you want to eat. If you say, I, I only you. eat steak every night, they have to bring you steak every night. Uh, trust me, I've done it three times. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm notorious for this. I'm gonna do that on the next show. If they want you on a show and you'd be like, do you have any diet restrictions? Be like, yeah, actually I have to have ice cream to go to sleep every night and I have to have uh, steak and eggs every morning for breakfast. I'm Otherwise I can't function. Yeah. I can only have exactly. Wagyu. That's how you avoid that. Going into uh, Dalgona, you got the umbrella, didn't you? No, I gave the umbrella to... Oh, you somebody. finessed. That's <laughs> yeah. what happened. Walk us through that because that was tough. Um, so you kind of... Squid Game is like a real, it's a big mental challenge. You got to understand that a lot of people there are just there to win money. And they were there, they'll do whatever it takes to stay. So you got to, you got to use that against them whenever mm-hmm. you can. Um, I was there to win the money clearly, but I had a different plan in mind. I was like, I just want to go and kind of put my foot into this world. Mm-hmm. Um, so the guy that was coming into the room, Spencer, I knew that I would be able to talk him into taking umbrella and that's in the most respectful way possible it's just like some people like i said think smarter not harder yeah some people like he's a great actor Mm -hmm. i'm a great talker so there there's things that you have to you have to use your strong suits for yourself like to benefit yourself i feel like when i watched it 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 sounded like you gaslit him you're like bro like come on like we need you to do this bro like you got to be a team player like we're all going to get eliminated you pressured the hell out of this man to get his ass eliminated don't make me look i'm just (laughs) kidding Uh, but no it i I was beating around the bush but it's uh it was a little bit of manipulation just trying to it's a doggy dog it is man i i don't i don't like uh being disrespectful, but yeah, it's a, fair. It's yeah, fair. It's, it's for because he so so because so a lot of people do take it mm-hmm. as disrespect. I'm like, I'm not being rude, but yeah. I'm there to win the game mm-hmm. the same way they are. But you yeah. feel some type of way about it because yeah, I'm being mean. No, I'm not. You would do the same shit if you were there. It's the exact same dollars. Thing, exactly. We've on. never done the Dalgona cookie before, so yeah. how hard realistically is that thing? Because I thought it would look disgusting. People were just spitting in this thing and like, yeah, it was a lot of spit. It was disgusting. Uh, but it was uh, depending on who you are, it might be really. Good. It was um, it was really hard because it's brittle, and if you hit it in the wrong spot, the whole cookie would break, and so that's why you don't want umbrella. You do umbrella. There's so many tiny little intricate points that you got to get to that you're not gonna yeah. get to. What shape did you end up with? Triangle. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Circle and triangle, the easiest ones. Yeah, I thought triangle would be the easiest one. Yeah. And I kind of got lucky. I, I I was doing it, and I hit like a pressure point or something, and the whole shit exploded, but not the shape. Like the outside of my cookie broke off. I was like, oh, this is fucking lit. And oh I just my, kept how going. many minutes did it take you to do it, or did it take hours? No, it was like seven minutes. Oh. But you gotta you gotta be honest. Like you were worried about the Dalcone cookie part. You're like, because this because this is the most random game they probably had on there. Yeah. You, you could do it perfectly, and it could still break. Going into yeah. it, I was I was telling people I was like, this is the challenge I'm I'm worried about because I. Even though I do control it, yeah. it it's hard. Yeah, I'll so, bet. But, um, and then you went to Battleships next. Yeah, I thought it was going to be Tug of War. <laughs> Everybody did. Yeah. Yeah, I would have been riding off into the sunset if it was Tug of War. I agree. I agree, bro. That's what, that's, you're probably like, oh, thank God. And then you get in there as Battleships. What's going through your mind? Is, why did you let the kid be the captain? Like, you're the football player. You know what it's like to run a team. Why would you let this random ass dude lead the ship? Well, no, we we had all, my team had two girls. The other team had two guys, or one girl and one guy. But my team had two girls as the captain. But to, I mean that 
I mean, that also still proves your point. Right. Um, I walked in and I knew that I've, I've had a target on my back since I got there. Yeah, of course. And I finally found a situation where I could take a step back and like not try to be the leader in the room or the dog in the room to like see if I can get the target off my back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so I was just like letting letting them do their thing. I didn't really say any words in there. I was just like, y'all got it. If y'all want to do it, y'all want to do it. We fucking lost. So, and I was all the way in the back and my mm -hmm. captain moved my boat all the way to the front. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember they got up and they moved it. Yeah. So the way that the battleships work, just for clarity, was that the captains were automatically eliminated if the team lost. So the two captains were automatically eliminated. And then it's whatever two ships got hit. So that means you could be on the losing team and you could have still survive the challenge. Which was the most bullshit ever. How many people got out? Should have been the whole, the it whole team. should have been the whole team, yeah. right? Yeah, right. That, that's what I... Because there's people on my team that advanced. Because I would put... The people yeah. who I did not like that were on my team or like who I thought were a threat. I At the put front. The, yeah, I put them. That's what she did to me. A1. A2. Even, I will say this much. Even though she had nothing against me because we didn't really know each other. We didn't yeah. talk. We never had any problems. I knew she was doing it like out of good. Yeah. She, she was she was trying to do good for me. She thought that it was a good idea and I just knew that it was not. You were like, I know after this game I'm going to be out. Yeah. The moment the moment that I saw the other team had strategy, because uh -huh. they boxed us in, they got, they eliminated all four corners. Oh. I was like, yeah, we're fucked. You're like, this we're is done. not going to last long. Uh, How long was that round? Uh, the whole entire process was probably like, and I was the first game to go and it still took probably like four hours. Oh. And I know, uh, I did hear, uh, you can clarify this a little bit, I did hear that at the end of some eliminations you were allowed to see the group before you left, but one of the games you couldn't, it was the one you got eliminated, you got to go see the group before you left, or you did not see anybody? No, nah, whenever I got eliminated, I walked clean out. They just took you out, like, hey, thanks for playing. They yeah, a few of us, a few, <laughs> a few, the people who got eliminated on my team, we walked through. I didn't see anybody else from the show except the people that just got eliminated and the people from the other team that got eliminated. Okay. Mm -hmm. We all went on the bus together, went straight back to the hotel. Some people had a flight the next day, and then some people had to stay for, like, all the interviews and processing mm -hmm. shit. So right. I stayed a few days. Yeah, from I was that. sure yeah. you had to. You were a pretty big character on there. And then you got into it on the show with the TikToker. Uh, Hussein, Hussein, yeah. Whatever his name is. How he got on that show is an absolute... Like, you know, he was like, normally with Netflix, they don't ever pick anybody that's already popular because they don't yeah. want to, like, mess yeah. with, like, the immersions of people. This guy, he's got, like, a mass following for doing pranks on TikTok as it is. What was his name? It's like, who, who's saying See, I didn't watch the he's a show. Yeah. He's okay. a TikToker. Yeah, he does um, pranks and just... Uh oh So I've probably He gets seen... on people's nerves for fun. He got on your nerves, didn't he? No, because people didn't get to see the full situation. And so I, was, I wasn't I was really just sticking up for myself. Like, you can ask anybody on the show. Mm. He was the real villain of the show. He, he had an angel edit, bro. Like, he looked like an angel on the show because of that edit. And he, he got his food took. He did this. He did that. They made him look like an angel. He was... The he was the villain of the. I was like competitive. I understand that's why. That's why people didn't like who I was. Uh -huh. But he was like fucking the people. Well, what would he do? Apparently, he was pouring water on people in their sleep. Apparently, me and him have a truce now. We got on stream together. We've already like kind of squashed everything, yeah. talked things out. Um, but we. I mean, we we don't really still like each other. It's just whatever. yeah. Trust me, I have a couple of people from the shows I've done that I don't yeah. see eye to eye with. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just like you and I just have to deal with it because it's part of like whatever your yeah. whatever your first show is is kind of like who you are for like the majority of your your, your reality TV career. And yeah. uh, I know particularly I was surprised to see because I saw a lot of people sneak their phones in. A lot of BTS was being done with that. But like him in particular, who had like an already a mass following, yeah. it was very astonishing to me that he already didn't have a, a target on his back. And like he got eliminated in kind of like a really dumb way as well. Like he picked up the phone. Well, I didn't know. Nobody, a lot of people knew who he was, but I didn't even know who he was. I didn't know he was a jokester or a prankster. Really? I had no idea. And you come from social media. Oh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, I mean, it depends not on like what that. Like, area yeah, or for you page. I had no though. idea who he was. Yeah. Like, none. And I mean, they don't know who I am. I did social media a little bit, you gotta end, but they had no idea who I was. I had no idea who he was. Yeah, because he, yeah, he's a few He has a really big following, though. Three million. Yeah. yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, on, he does, like, he does well. On he TikTok? Was, do you remember when I was talking to Paul and Paul, and I was laughing at that video, and Paul was yelling at the guy because the guy came up and knocked on his window, and you're like, who's that? I was like, oh, it's Paul yelling at the guy. It was that guy pulling a prank on Paul. 
Oh. Regardless, um, so were you there when he got eliminated or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, so he got eliminated because he was trying to get yeah. me eliminated. You were like, don't take that phone. You're yeah. like, whatever it is, don't pick it. How did you that, know? Why do you think nobody took the phone from him? Because he was the real, like, villain on the show. That's why nobody took the If anybody else would have picked up that phone, they would have been able to convince somebody else to, to, to come pick, pick it up. It. A guy almost picked it up, though. Or was he just but he, but he didn't. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, and it was only one person out of the 200 and something that was in there. Like, no, but everybody knew not to trust that guy. What did he say? It's chocolate muffin. Yeah, he was like, he was like, anybody want a chocolate muffin? No. <laughs> no one believes that. No, bro. Nobody wants a chocolate. Like, I would have just told somebody, hey, this is for. I'd be like, hey. I, I would have been like, yo, Brian. Yeah. Well, Brighton. he tr he tried, but he did it wrong. What did he do? He was like, oh, it's for you. Idiot. I would have picked up the phone. I'd been like. Right, and they want to talk to you. Exactly. You, yeah, you, gotta, be, you gotta be dramatic. You yeah. gotta be dramatic with it. He wouldn't. He wasn't dramatic enough. Oh yeah. See, I would have sold. I would have sold. I'd have been like, start the tears. You know. Right. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> 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 like, I would have been, like, been like, yo, they said you need to talk to him right now, and if you don't, then you're gonna have to do it. Uh, yeah, Make up some yeah, bullshit if, on the spot. If nobody on the show already knew that the phone was gonna eliminate people, and they had yeah. already sent food in. I'd have been like, well, that's what they did. Yeah, I would have told, I'd have lied. And then like, they said that we're not eating unless you talk on the phone, bro. Yeah, like, can you yeah. like do something? Like, I would have finessed. <laughs> some, I would have been like, everybody would have got mad at me. Things. Take the phone, bro. <laughs> like, like, bro, what do I look like? Why out of everybody in this room, of the 200 people that are left in here, that one phone calls for me and his chocolate muffins? Yeah, bro. Fuck you. There's it no was, way. Uh, it, yeah, it, it took a lot out of me to just sit there and be like, what the fuck is really about to happen? Like, and I, you know, I would hope you enjoyed every second just watching him just like, because he probably started sweating towards the end of that. Oh, I, he started pay, they, he was walking back and forth. I was like, oh yeah, he's, <laughs> he's going. <laughs> he's a goner. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but yeah, me and, me and him have a, have a little beef. Yeah. Need to settle that. Okay, so what's the, what's the beef? What's the beef? It's not beef. I, we, we, we went on a stream together and like kind of talked about, he's, he's, claimed that he didn't do some things and we kind of talked about the situation that was said and what stream was it and, and it was with uh billy the goat he's in the uk you did on instagram stream no i forgot i don't know what we were on i just joined through like whatever mm -hmm. service i was using but right. i don't i don't know what he was streaming on all right and you guys had like a long conversation yeah i didn't know he was going to be there it was a, it was like 10 people from squid game and then he was there and it was like a surprise meeting. And so I didn't know that he was on there. And so we he sat like there. He like blindsided yeah, you. Yeah, they, blind, they, they were scared that I just wasn't going to show if they would have told me he was there, which is kind of pussy. But yeah. Would you have showed up? Yeah. If he was okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. If you want to. Stand on business. Oh, it's, well, that's not it's stand on business. Time. Like, it doesn't. I'm not going to. Like, I'm not scared of. Yeah. No, of course. Like, okay. And then I always ask this question to all, like, my new reality friends is, like, uh, post-show. I know, like, notoriously. I'm sure it happened with your guys too. You guys make a group chat, Squid Games group chat, or whatever. I always, what yeah. I always do with the group chats. Leave it. I always leave the group chat because I'm just like, don't I, I don't want to be a part of it. I'm mute. I, yeah, I, I, I don't. Them. I don't leave. I just mute it. Okay. I have mine muted right now on WhatsApp. So 400 people in a group chat, right? It, yeah. And you saw the people that were on the show. So you, from ranging from every age, every demographic, every type of. Uh, everything. Everything. Yeah. Trying to join the group show. And like the whole time you guys are asking, did you guys know when the show was going to come out? No, we didn't know until, uh, we didn't know until like close that whenever. Did it give you any heads months? up? Like maybe like a two month heads up. It wasn't a long time. Hey, you, uh, you got two months. Yeah. Hey, by the way. Sort your life. <laughs> okay. And then that turns us to the next question. How many people took the initiative to come to LA and to network and to build off of the show. Because notoriously, people who go on shows, they kind of just like sit on it like, oh, I'm gonna be super famous on the show, but they don't understand that the work and the ethic, or the work ethic, the work ethic that uh, it takes, yeah, my bad. The work ethic that it takes to come out to LA, to meet people, to, yeah. uh, to socialize, to be a part of the, the culture. It's not just you're on the show and that's that. Right, um, there was a few like, Few people from the show because they they flew us out here for a premiere for, um, but it wasn't for connection to do it. They like they that. picked certain people though. Yeah, yeah. It was like ten. It was like ten. Didn't to 12 they like forget about in. some people? We probably. They didn't forget about anybody. I some people probably just probably didn't. didn't show. They just didn't yeah. pick people. Yeah. yeah. Um, but coming out here, it's uh, it's weird because not a lot of people from the show did it, and I, I still don't think they do. Mm -hmm. I know there's a few people who have a um, like Roland has a podcast. He was one of the. I don't even know how to describe him. I, I really don't. I, I think but so. but he has a podcast. Um, 
the mom and the son, they do social media a little bit, you know. That was a good combo. What did yeah. you think of them? Were they not? I like them. It's bullshit. I should have been able to bring my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't I bring my mom? It was, it was, it, That's kind of an advantage. Now it's like, it doesn't matter who wins exactly. that. You pull yeah. with. Yeah, they, whatever. Did you have an idea in your head who was going to win the show? Did you think, what was her name, Yan, Yim, Yim? I thought I was going to win. Uh, fair play. <laughs> fair play. But was it if you were there, you th- you would have thought you were going to, like, you see everybody around you, you're like, oh. You're like, I, I got you. Know. And it's then you be realize easy. that this isn't. They take, they I, take away every advantage that I can yes. possibly have. And I was going to say that. And it puts it into the favor of the people who, can in the most in. respectful way possible, do not have and the skills. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why. And I had the same problem on the last TV show that I did. Is like, what they do is it's the people who go on the show. If you're an average person, say it was like, for example, if Gavin. I was about to say, so you're saying I would if, win. Yeah. So if Gavin, if Gavin <laughs> if were you're on the show. If, if, if you. I have zero talent. It's in their favor. Winning. It's you're in winning. their favor. Yeah. They're not going to be like, yeah. okay, in this challenge, it's going to be a 100-meter dash race. Yeah. First one to get Because then there's this person who sits over there. That's not fair. He's six, whatever, <laughs> and he's got long legs, and, and you know, he's muscular. And it's, Okay, so what are you going to do? I think we should yeah. pick something even, like, let's um, build a puzzle. I don't know that she has an extensive background in building puzzles, yeah. and I might be dyslexic, but yeah. they don't care. They don't care. <laughs> like, the last challenge in Squid Game was rock, paper, scissors. That's crazy. If I would have made it to the end of Squid Game and walked into that fucking room and played rock, paper, scissors. I would have been so mad. With, like, against a girl, bro, I would have lost my mind. Yeah. I would have been like, I didn't fucking come here for that. Because yeah. I know I'm losing. I'm probably going to lose. My luck yeah. is running out. Yeah. Um, Did you think the winner was going to be the what was person her name? who won, yeah. though? What was the girl's name? My. My. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Cut that part. <laughs> <laughs> what was the girl's name that won? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Did you think she was going to win, though? Or did you even, like, talk Nobody to her? Nobody knew much? who... Like, you had no idea. You didn't know what was going on. You didn't know it. There's so many I kind of did it dirty, yeah. though. She got bro eliminated and bro went to war for her. That's what you got to do, though. That's what you got to do. Like, I would have done the Stabbed same thing. Stabbed someone in the back. You would have done the same thing. It's not even about your image on TV uh, at that point. Everybody's yeah. like, oh... I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck all you guys. I don't give a... Yeah, I'm... I'm doing what it's I want to do. $4 million. Dollars. Exactly. Did she actually, she got the she money got the too? Money. I think now. Yeah. I, 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 can't, I can't confirm that she did get the money. Yeah. It was it just net took 30. a little while. Yeah. Uh, it was net 30. It was net 30. It was net well, 30. Well, duh. It's $4 million. <laughs> I'd be okay if it was net 90. It was, but it was net 30 from the airing of the last episode. So he filmed in January. They had like oh, six months not. roughly. The last episode was December 30th. So so it's a year yeah, and then okay. 30 days. So that means she just got recent. That means she, she like just, just got, got it. Probably yesterday. Probably yesterday. I'm about to call her. Have you, do you have a good relationship with Mai? If I see her in person, it's like just talking like we know who each other are right. yeah um but we didn't really talk or anything till after the show i'm gonna say like i'm glad that she won it versus the prankster guy because if you give that prankster guy four million dollars i i don't want to live in a world if where you, you give, give if you would have gave four me four not four million dollars we, <laughs> we would have had a fucking issue <laughs> <laughs> like, anybody but I, i'm glad that somebody of age and of wisdom, was, wisdom was, and not sure, yeah. she wants to help other because i wanted to help other people i wanted to go build a school overseas so right. like yeah. i would have went and did that i don't know if you're doing a four that. million though <laughs> no no not like an actual school yeah like a, I like a to build, program yeah like a pro- yeah. program like yeah. a program of some sort um but with the rest of the money i mean you're having fun. We're on yachts in Miami. I'll see you there, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's rented. Okay, yeah. and so post production, now that you're done with the show and stuff, how have you found like has your life changed tremendously? Is it really what everybody chops it up to be? Um, it's everything that people chop it up to be if you do it right. Right. So, I mean, I've been with, I've met a lot of people now in the industry that are like you or like Harry or like somebody. You know, y'all are older. How old are you? 26. Yeah, so y'all are 26, 27, 28. Like, I'm 23. Yeah. So I just started. And so it's good to be around people like that because that makes it worth everything yeah. I'm doing, everything I'm working for because I see what y'all have. I see what where I was at and now where I'm going. You have to. a direction. Yeah, I, I know. I, I can tell right now that I'm on the right. Mm-hmm. And I and I always and I always say this to like because I meet a lot of you guys uh, the newer reality people and I always I have an idea of like who I think is gonna do really good and and I, I and no, she knows it too because I talk yeah. to her all the time I'm like when I watch the show I'll be like I can see like oh they have the personality right they yeah. they have what it takes yeah no I can see that now too like I yeah get, yeah I e- even know. doing TV when you're there there's the people that talk a lot that'll just talk 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 and then there's people that say like meaningful things that are actually going to go on the television. See, I think I do both. 
I think you did a great job. I think you do both too. Not even like, like. <laughs> Listen, I ignore him most of the time. I just hear what. Well, because I, I mean, I know, I like, I like to talk. Yes. Yeah. But I only like to talk because I know what I'm. Now, not everything. But you say significant. Yeah. Yes. Not, not everything no, I, I say that. is significant. Most of the things I say is bullshit. But. But it's funny. But it's funny. Yeah. And nobody thinks it's fucking funny, probably except me. But yeah. I'm gonna sit there and enjoy my goddamn laugh. No. <laughs> You're gonna like laugh at yourself. Yeah, I'm just gonna be You're laughing. Gonna be like, I'm the funniest person ever. Loser. And I think I think you also have to, the Brighton. When I say like you have to comprehend, like you versus 400 people, like already you had to eliminate. You don't even understand, like you going into Squid Games was not you versus 400 people. It was probably you versus a million people that applied, and yeah. you eliminated all of them to get in the top 1,000, and then they have like 1,000 people they pick from, and you eliminate probably like two or 300 of those more people, and then they fly all the extra people out, and then when they meet you in person, you had to eliminate all of them <laughs> to even get there. The process is kind of wild when you think about it. It's, it's, you know how you go down the rabbit hole of like, I never should have been born. Like... <laughs> Have you seen that? It's only that? a guy's thought. It really is. I know right. you've probably never had that thought in your whole entire life. No, I've thought about that. Have, have you? Right. Yeah. Guys have weird, like, really weird thoughts. No, I've had, like, a lot of thoughts. Really? Like yeah. yeah. I think about that shit all the time. I'm like, I was... <laughs> like, you think about the odds of just everything. It's like... Yeah, huh. I told my mom. I walked into a room. I was like, Mom, I'm... It's one in 400 trillion? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Do you have siblings? I have a little brother. Oh, okay. I have, okay. I have, I have one little brother. Oh, okay. Um, I was like, one in 400 trillion? I'm Stop him. arguing with me. We're like, we're here in this together. I'm him. I'm him. So if you're ever arguing with your parents, you know, just say, I'm not even supposed to really be here. Yeah. Exactly. You're exactly. Like, you just kind of take it from Brighton here. Brighton says, if you argue with your parents, you tell them you, they're lucky to have you. Me and my mom have a great relationship. That's it's like good. a it's like a brother sister. She's young. She's only 44. Oh, okay. So it's like a good young. Yeah. Life. Okay. Yeah. So you, my mom had me when she was 20. Mom's 46. 21. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's like so you have you, the same shit. Yeah. We get it. We get yeah. it. Um. So transitioning, asking like. How have you found, uh, like, do you think that reality TV is something that you really enjoy doing? You want to do more of it? And you think, like, you're going to, it's going to be something that you think you can base your career around? Or do you want to transition into something else? Uh, it's going to be the start of my career, most definitely. So, I mean, it is the start of my career. And then yeah. I'm doing shows for probably the next two, three years. And then I want to get into acting, uh, really just TV shows. I mean, I'll get into movies and TV shows and stuff, but really TV shows. Okay. Um, have you ever seen Snowfall? Yeah. So like, I'm really inspired by shows like that, like Snowfall, Power, What's oh, you like Blacklist. Yeah, so it's BET. It's Star. <laughs> Power's on Star. It's, it's Black Entertainment. Black oh, Entertainment. Oh, I know what BET like, is. Like drugs. I took her to the BET Awards. I went to the BET Awards. Really? I took her to the BET Awards. <laughs> right, she needed some culture. Yeah, no, that, that, that's good. Um, but it's a... I want to do kind of like TV shows. I can definitely see you that's on cool. Power. What's the what's the? See, I was thinking more like All American. I can see you on All American Power. I can see you. Yeah, that's who. Oh, Tariq. His yeah. name is Tariq. Uh, but I, All American. You yes. couldn't you see yourself on Stop. routes. Stop. Have you seen those routes? Stop. This is, yes. Yeah. That's what what I'm do you expect? Do. <laughs> that shit is terrible. <laughs> and they did the. I saw a clip one time. I'll, I'll put the clip here. I saw the clip one time when they showed the BTS of those guys actually right on the and the guy's like. It's really bad. It's the worst. <laughs> well, especially because like, you guys actually played football. Oh, I'm like, if somebody's running like this, looking like this. Social media was clowning them back because they didn't even try to make it look realistic at all. Really? See, I don't uh, know football like that. I was like, you would know. Even I think American. even you would. You know. would know. If, yeah. You would know. Yeah. Okay. Um. So like, okay, and then thinking, okay, so you want to do TV? You want to do that? Could you see yourself like uh, potentially like? Would you ever do like The Bachelor? Um, if I didn't have a girlfriend right now, okay. the answer would be yes. Okay. Um, wait, which one is that? The Bachelor? The ba Am I the, the only guy is. there or yeah. the girls? Bachelorette's... Wait. No, Bachelor. I would, one the, guy. I would do There's the one, one where... I want to have like the 30 girls fight over me. <laughs> My nigga. But yeah, I'm not doing... Uh, I love you, babe, but just... <laughs> if we were not together, then I would do it. So yeah. you said you mentioned you had a girlfriend. So yeah. was this girlfriend before or after the school games? After. After, okay. Yep. So that transitions into like our question that we always got to ask for TV people. Uh, so Gab and I have a, a common question is like, do you find dating? Is it harder? Yes. Or is um, it the exact same? So I actually lucked up kind of with the girl I'm with right now. She's- mm. That's what they all say. But <laughs> no, no, because no, I didn't look up with the ones I found before. Yes. Okay. So, even at, like, I, I kind of had to grow up fast in that area. Mm -hmm. So I met her after the show. She hit me up. 
Oh, she slid in your DMs. After the show, okay. she gave me a... Hold on, first of all, first but, of all, the, the show came filming. out two months ago. The show it's... came out two months ago. This guy's already wifed up. The show came out two months ago. Hold on. I love you, babe. Fuck <laughs> what they talking about. Fuck <laughs> what they talking about. Uh, but nah, it's... um, It, it, it was good. As a guy, you know yes. quick. Yeah, you course. know quick. For girls, it takes a while. It probably takes... I don't know how long it takes for a girl. Sometimes years. <laughs> for me, max two days. Max two days. Max, like, if I... It's so easy. Like, I'm I'm such a... Two easy, days? Bro, I'm a... Whenever, Wait, so how quick did you guys start dating after meeting? Uh, Well, like, I... Oh, not... Like, it, it took... It took probably, like, a month. Which <laughs> isn't knows. that long, but I even... But I know what I want. Like, if right. you know what you want, you know what you want. Okay, Why so am I waiting? What is your wow. type? What is this girl like? How uh, did you meet her? What did she say? You she's doing? in the, so she does WWE. Um, she's okay. In like the NXT. So she would beat me up. I actually have a friend. Slam. 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 My Just brother's like, girlfriend is uh, Maxine. Really? Yeah. I think so I know you're talking about. She's in the. She's uh, her actual name's Sydney, but she's Maxine Dupree. I think is her name. Oh. But my like my very close like friend, I consider him my brother. He also plays football, light skin. Uh, he's in the NXT right now. And his girlfriend is Maxine Dupree in the WWE. Wait, wait, who's the dude? Anthony Luke. Oh, okay. He played at SDSU. He's, he's my oldest friend to this day. But uh, him and his girl, they've been together forever. And she actually started in NXT as well. Yeah. And uh, it's like a popularity contest, no? Kind of. For the guys, for the girls, you look good. They're going to. Yeah, yeah. No, my, my girl walks out the door every day in yeah. some fucking booty shorts oh great and i'm like yeah like, go, she try those down, moves babe. on you in the bedroom first of all like is she, she what's has, the what's no, the, she's yeah, tried. the slams the rko the rko nah <laughs> she uh she gets aggressive every now and not in the Ooh. bed not in the bedroom i didn't mean that. hold on saying, like like she tries to she tries to play fight <laughs> she tries to play fight because she's like okay. oh i can wrestle blah, blah, blah. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so you give her a little ray rice right <laughs> little chris, know, she even know little chris right, brown <laughs> um those are two men who allegedly Knocked their way. Allegedly, Ray Rice was on the uh, in the elevator. I know. Who he is. I know. Bad. Yes, yeah. I know. Who uh, he is. But nah, she uh, she's a, she's a really good wrestler. She's a good okay. girl. She hit me up after the show. And, after the show, uh, old is she? Five or twenty five. Twenty five. Okay, she's yeah. a bit older. Yeah. yeah. Like, was it before the show like aired, or was it like after it aired? It was after. after, after, oh, after. Okay. So she that. saw you because the show. Yeah. She, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Gotcha, okay. Gotcha. Um. But I knew that that was coming. I knew that it would be. Yeah. Not like in okay, not like uh, not in a cocky way, in a humble you way. Knew like, I knew, I knew, yeah. I knew something. You knew the DMs would be open. And... Yeah, the same way that girls like she does WWE. I know that. Yeah, she's confident. She knows what she wants. Yeah. yeah. Of course and she so she hit me up, and I was like, yeah. She hit. You know what? Are you gonna read the DM? He's gonna read the DM. We're gonna post it. Yeah. She just texted me. She said, "What are you doing? Hold on, can't take you back right now." If you want to Facetime her, say hi to the cameras. <laughs> oh my God, no! She's. I think she has a match right she's now. Like, uh, <laughs> she's in the middle. She's in the middle of a match. I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, she hit me with the. Holy! So this guy's still scrolling. He's been scrolling for thirty seconds. Chat. Dang. I stopped watching when you got eliminated. Ah! Uh, with the with the rolling eye emoji. Oh, that's good. You want to know my response? What? I said, I don't believe you. But fuck all of that. You are so pretty. Uh, Let's talk. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. It's not even, uh, it was, I said that because I knew she was my type just by looking at her. What did she yeah. look like? He's like, oh, yeah, let's we'll see what she looks like. Um, she's a uh, five four, okay. shorter, brunette, brunette, beautiful, white girl. <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled for that. I'm probably gonna clip uh, that out. Nah. I, I, well, I, she's pretty. Okay, I, uh, he's definitely winning. She doesn't look okay. white though. She's Italian. Okay, yeah, uh, I she's probably, pretty. I probably would. Hey, look, look. If it was Sunday, I'd be an omelet because I would have folded too. <laughs> but like, listen, listen. I haven't heard that one yet. Listen, I just okay. made it up just now. Really? <laughs> that little pause right there was me thinking of something to say. Because I would have folded, to be honest, because she's gorgeous. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, uh, you're doing really well. So you came off Squid Games. And like, you know what? I, just the last thing I want to touch on Squid Games with you is um, the fact that you were not there the whole time. Mm -hmm. You were eliminated. Uh, you mm -hmm. didn't win the show. Um, and you know there was still a lot of people ahead of you. What I want to emphasize is you did such a great job being a predominant character that when I think of Squid Games, you're one of the main people that I think of. And I, one particular thing that they capitalized on was you do push-ups. 
Yeah. Okay, so I really like the fact that like post production that they actually reached back out to you and you got to uh, take part in like their advertising as well yeah, yeah. in the push up department. Which uh, we're gonna have to do some push ups here. Wait, what's this push up thing? I'm kidding. He's, he's the push up. I was doing push ups on. Um, oh, on the show. I saw Austin, a click. We'll I click saw, it. Yeah. We'll yeah. I'm texting Calvin because Cal- Calvin's coming to uh, get me so I can go to the snappy bit. One of the OGs right there. Yeah, like, so oh, I, know I, uh, his friends. I have to beware of that so he doesn't leave. We me. have the Snapchat thing as well. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Are y'all leaving after this? I have one more okay, girl coming in, yeah. um, which is why I. I got the time switch. I thought yeah. you were done even like I, <laughs> I do so many things. Yeah. Anyways, um, OK, so what was I talking about? OK, yes. Yeah, so you, I'm what I want to emphasize is I, I just want you to know that I think you did a really, really great job. And I think you're such a great character. And I look forward to seeing you in uh, more reality TV or regular TV as we keep going. And I really hope that uh, I always talk about a third eye in reality TV. Uh, I always say this even when I go on TV shows, is uh, there's your perspective when you're there, there's a perspective of production, but what I say about like the third eye is you have a great ability to be on the other side of the camera and see how something's going, and so yeah. like, I, I'm excited to see what you do with that moving forward, and I hope that you do keep that, and... Uh, we'll know, be watching you on we'll, your next show. We'll <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that show is gonna be, gonna yeah. be a shit show. Or I'm gonna about mm. transition to... Yeah. Um, to, uh, like a lot of girls in this industry, or that's fair. Like my girlfriend no. is the first. Go- wasn't planning no. on it. No. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend now is the first girlfriend that I've talked to that's like actually mm-hmm. like Instagram famous or whatever no. the fuck you want to call it. I always say prefer find a girl that does something exactly opposite from you. If you do TV, let her do wrestling. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And even though no, she does TV, up. she's occupied. Yeah. All day. She has her own Give her her life. own life. Yes. yes. That's she, good. she, yeah, I don't, we're not up each other. Like, we're, you know, calling each other, texting each other all day. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you not answering it? But we're not up. <laughs> like, give other. me some attention. Yeah, but we know that we're <laughs> yeah. doing it. No, that's good. Good thing. So yeah. it's good. That's, yeah. really good. that's awesome. It's a healthy relationship. All right, cool. All right, guys. Thanks so much.